people, I'm Ginny Metherill. I'm a fourth generation Irish witch and I'm here today with a new mini series that I'm doing on the laws and traditions of all things witchy pertaining to Halloween. So today's video is all about pumpkins and at the end of the video I'm going to give you a short kitchen witch spell for the prosperity and luck that pumpkin seeds will bring you in the new year. The new year being the 1st of November, which is of course the year when the darkness starts. I want you to spread the joy of Halloween with a little prosperity and luck spell involving pumpkin seeds. The reason this video came about is that my dear husband picked all our pumpkins many weeks ago when they were still green and small. In fact, that small. This is one of our pumpkins because he thought they were marrows. So I managed to rescue one and ripen this one and that's the only pumpkin we've got. So I went to the shops and bought another pumpkin at vast expense which was this one which went sat in our house and I've managed to carve a pumpkin that looks just like me. It's great isn't it? <laughs> anyway, pumpkins when they're carved like this with a light inside them are known as jack-o'-lanterns. So there are many legends associated with the jack-o'-lantern and many different tales are told but I thought I'd tell you my favourite so you understand the folklore behind a pumpkin. Many years ago a blacksmith by the name of Jack was walking along a road when he saw an old man sitting in the ditch having fallen by the wayside. Now Jack was not known for his kindliness or his Samaritan habits, but he picked up this old man, dusted him down, gave him some water and food. This man suddenly was transformed into a beautiful angel who impressed with the kindliness of Jack, granted him three wishes. Jack immediately asked that anybody who touched any of these things, and there was three items, his cobbling tools, his tree, or sit in his chair, be stuck forever in that position. Now the angel was deeply unimpressed with these three wishes. The angel obviously wasn't a very forgiving angel because he turned round to Jack and said, you're not very nice. You didn't ask for nice things to help anybody. I don't think you're the sort of person we want in heaven. And barred him from the pearly gates. So of course, the devil then came a calling because he wanted Jack's soul. Jack happened to be outside a pub at that time when the devil first turned up and he persuaded the devil that what he really wanted was a final drink before his soul was cast into the pits of hell. So they went into the pub and Jack ordered some drinks. Now in order to pay for the drinks he persuaded the devil somehow to turn into a coin. Jack picked up that coin and immediately put it in his pocket where there was a crucifix. Now this prevented the devil from transmogrifying back to being a devil from a coin. The devil obviously was quite cross about this but Jack said to him I will let you transform back into the devil if you promise to leave me alone for 10 years so that I can carry on with my life unhindered. The devil duly promised. 10 years passed and the devil again came a calling for Jack's soul. This time Jack was in an orchard and he turned to the devil and he said you must give a man his last dying wish and he pointed to an apple at the top of the tree and said would you get it for me my last apple on this earth and the devil obligingly climbed the tree and as he was climbing the tree Jack quickly carved a cross into the tree's trunk so the devil couldn't climb down. He then bargained with the devil and said he would scrape the cross off the trunk if the devil would give him a further 10 years to walk the earth. The devil reluctantly agreed. However, five years later, Jack dies suddenly. He flits up to the pearly gates and asks for entrance and they say, well, we don't really like you very much, you know, you're not a nice man, so no. He then flits down to the gates of hell, knocks on the door and says, oh devil, let me in. But the devil says, I can't. You told me that you needed 10 years before I claimed your soul. You have died under that limit, so I can't claim your soul. You'll have to walk the earth forevermore. And the devil then scooped up from embers from the hell fires and threw them at Jack. Jack picked them up and put them in a hollowed out turnip and forever now walks the earth with a glowing 
ember light. And that is why we have these rather magnificent pumpkins. Now this is an Irish tale, so of course, when the Irish had the great migration during the potato famine to the Americas, they took this with them. The Americans didn't really have turnips, but they did have pumpkins. So these make much better lights. Now the reason why you light your pumpkin and put it outside your door on Halloween is to scare off the spirits that are going to come past. Because Halloween, of course, is the night when spirits cross the Bridge of Swords and the veil between life and death is at its thinnest and they can communicate with the living. And people didn't like that, it was terribly scary. Hence they carved these very scary looking pumpkins and put them outside their door. So I love a pumpkin actually, they are quite delicious. We have them as soup, you know, when you scoop out the inside. Also, you get a lot of seeds, even in this tiny little pumpkin that we've got here, there'll be a lot of seeds with which you can make a prosperity and luck spell. Now I know I've done a prosperity and luck spell recently, but this is a special Halloween edition. So if you start it now and then do it until Halloween, then on Halloween, that's when you set your spell and on the 1st of November, your prosperity and luck will flow in for the new year. It's, as always, so simple, all my spells are. It involves butter, salt, flavourings if you really want to do that, and pumpkin seeds. So what you need to do is, first of all, take your pumpkin, and when you've scooped out all the flesh, you're left with all these seeds. What you need to do is separate the seeds from the flesh. Do this under cold, running water until you're left with just some rather wet seeds. Now you'd like to dry them. Don't dry them with paper towel because it just sticks to them and you'll spend all your time picking bits of paper towel off your seeds. So don't do that. Use a cotton towel if anything or just let them dry naturally. So having washed and semi-dried your pumpkin seeds, as you can see here, I've got a bowl and in it I have got about a tablespoon of melted butter. Added to that, I'm gonna put in a big tablespoon of salt and then give us a quick stir just to make it sure it's all combined. Now to your butter and salt mix, I want you to add just the tiniest splash of moon water. Moon water, as you all know, is made by the moon blessing any water. And I use it in a lot of spells. I have an October video which will show you how to make moon water and I will put the link in the description up here so that you can watch it and make your moon water if you don't know how to. This moon water gives strength, prosperity and luck. And as a pumpkin, due to its oh, massively round, moon-like visage, is beloved by the moon. Next, you add your pumpkin seeds and stir them about to make sure each pumpkin seed is equally coated with butter and salt mix. Take a baking tray and line it. It's very important to line your baking tray, otherwise they will all stick. I've got that rather good reusable liner and place them on your baking tray in one layer thick, like so. Cook these from anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes in a hot oven at 200 degrees centigrade. I think I cooked these ones for 14 minutes. So you've cooked your pumpkin seeds. You've got them all crispy and delicious and they should look something like this. They taste lovely. Now the seeds have all puffed up and you can eat them whole. And they are utterly delicious. Now here is your spell. I want you to eat a seed every day between now and Halloween. And the seeds that you have left, I want you to give them to your friends and family at your Halloween festivities. On the 1st of November, your spell is set to give you success and prosperity. The thing about these pumpkin seeds is they are delicious. They taste so good. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to eat one every single day. I'm going to have to make, well, I'm gonna to have to make stacks just as well that I've got this to make some more with. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from my pumpkin alter ego. And I'll see you in my next video.